Let's learn how to solve radical equations. Here is our joke. Alex worked at Kmart. How much is this shirt? It's a square root of 2 plus square root of 8 whole thing squared dollars. Oh, that seems very rational. It is. See if you can answer that question. Uh, figure that out and I'll tell you at the end. On our agenda, we're going to solve equations with one radical, equations with two radicals. We need to remember to square sides and not parts. You always have to check your answers for extraneous solutions and we'll make sure we know how to solve with rational exponents. Let's get ready. You need your notes, pencil, and calculator. We're going to go through 12 problems. On some of them, you should pause and try them first yourself. Here's solving with one radical. So the first thing we want to do is isolate the radical and get it all by itself. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides, so I get the cube root of x equals 2. Now, if I want to undo something that is cube, cube rooted, I'm going to cube both sides, and I get x to be 8. It is an equation, so you can plug it back in and check. The cube root of 8 is 2. 2 minus 2 is, in fact, 0, so that works. Let's try this one. The square root is now being multiplied by 2, so I want to undo that. So I'm going to divide everything by 2 to isolate the radical by itself. And I get the square root of x plus 1 equals 7. I'm going to undo a square root by squaring both sides. So I get x plus 1 equals 49. Continue to solve for x, and I get x to be 48. I can check that. x plus 1 is 49, so I'm looking at 2 times 7, and that works. Pause and try this. Here we still have one radical. It is a cube root. It's 5 times the cube root, so I'm going to divide everything by 5. So I get the cube root equaling 3. I want to undo the cube root, so I'm going to raise both sides to the 3. And I get my group, which is 4x plus 3 equals 27. Subtract the 3, and x equals 6. If I plug that back in, this is 24 plus 3, so we're looking at the cube root of 27, which is 3. 5 times 3 is 15, so that works. We're going to switch to solving with two radicals. Notice these are on opposite sides. I do have the 5 as well. You can square entire sides. So this is just a radical with a 5 and a radical. So I can square the entire side. And let's look at what happens. When I square the left, it undoes it, so I get 35x. Remember when you square a product. So if I had x times y whole thing squared, that would become x squared y squared. We distribute that 2 in. So don't forget that 5. That has to be squared, and that's a common mistake. So we're now going to get 25, and then the group. I'm going to distribute that. So I have 35x equals 25x plus 50. I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to subtract the 25x to get 10x equals 50, and then x equals 5. You could plug that back in and check, and it does work. Go ahead and try this one. If you notice, this one has cube roots. It also has the 2, uh, but there's, no, uh, there's just one term on each side, so I can go ahead and I can cube both sides. In order to undo that cube root, I need to make sure I'm getting that 2 to be cubed. So my left side becomes x plus 6, and then I have 8 times the group of x minus 1. I'm going to distribute that 8 and solve for x. So I'm going to subtract x from both sides, so I get 7x. I'm going to add the 8, so I get 14. Make sure you're dividing the right way. And I'm going to divide by 7, so I get x to be 2. Now we have two radicals. They're on opposite sides, but notice the right-hand side is a binomial. I have more than one term. So you cannot square the pieces. No, you can't do that. So I'm going to erase all of that. Don't do that. Let me get my pen back. I'm going to square the sides. Square entire side. So the right-hand side is going to be a binomial squared. The left-hand side, I get x minus 12. The right-hand side, I'm going to write out two sets of parentheses so I can see what I have as far as working. So I get x minus 12 equals, I'm going to distribute the 2 to both. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 2 root x. 
then I'm going to distribute the negative root x. So I'm going to get another negative 2 root x. And then the square root of x times square root of x is x. They're both negative, so it's a positive x. I can combine like terms minus 4 root x plus x. I can subtract x from both sides. I'm going to subtract the 4 over, so I get negative 16 equals negative 4 root x. Still want to isolate that radical, so I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. 4 equals the square root of x. Be careful, don't look at that too quickly and think the answer is 2. We actually have to square both sides to undo it, and we get x to be 16. I'm going to plug my answer in. So 16 minus 12 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. And then 2 minus the square root of 16 becomes 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. So I have a statement that says 2 equals negative 2, which is false. So this one is actually no solution. So that's why it's really important to check your work. x cannot be 16. If I think about this graphically, if I graph the left and the right side, so I graph y equals x minus 12. That's going to be a square root graph shifted to the right 12 and opening like a hook. And then if I graph this side, this is going to be a square root that is reflected and shifted up to and reflected down like that. So they're never going to intersect. That's why there's no solution. So even if it's a positive, make sure you're checking your answers. Go ahead and pause this and try this. Notice that the square roots are on the same side. I like them to be on opposite sides because it makes it a little bit easier. So I'm going to add that to both sides. So I'm going to do square root of 6 minus x equals 1 plus the square root of 3x plus 3. I have a binomial on the right. I'm going to square the entire right side. So I get x minus x, si sorry, 6 minus x on the left. I'm going to write out two sets of parentheses. And distribute. So I get the 1 and then another square root. So 1 times 1 is 1, not 2. Be careful. And then 1 square root. Distribute the second, so I have another square root group. And the square root times the square root is itself, so I get 3x plus 3. I'm going to combine like terms there on the right. So I have 1 and 3, which is 4 plus 3x plus 2 of my radicals. So you see, we still have a radical equation because I still have a radical there. So I'm going to try to undo all this algebra. Um, I'm going to subtract the 4, so I get 2. I'm going to subtract the 3x, so I get minus 4x equals 2 root 3x plus 3. From here, you could square it, but I'm, I'm going to divide by 2 because I see the left-hand side is divisible by 2. So I get 1 minus 2x equals my square root, squaring both sides. Remember, this left side is a binomial now, so I get 1. Minus 2x minus 2x is a minus 4x plus 4x squared equals 3x plus 3. I'm running out of room. I'm going to put this in standard form. So 4x squared minus 7x minus 2 equals 0. That will factor to 4x and 1 and x and 2, and that has to be negative, and that's positive. So x here equals negative 1 fourth, and x equals 2. I have two answers. I should plug them back in. Always go back to the original. So I'm going to test my 2 because it's positive, right? So we'll test the square root of 6 minus 2 minus 3 times 2 plus 3. Does that equal 1? So we get the square root of 4, which is 2, minus 3 times 2 is 6. Square root of 9, which is 3, which does not equal 1. So 2 is not the answer. And I'm running out of room, but the square root, uh, sorry, the answer of negative one fourth is actually the correct answer. Three minus a negative one fourth square root. That means three plus one fourth, which as a num mixed number is six and a quarter. So that's 25 fourths as a square root minus three times negative one fourth plus three which is negative 3 fourths plus 3, which is 2 and a quarter 
which is the square root of 9 fourths. And then when we take the square root, we end up with 5 fourths minus 3, oops, sorry, 5 halves minus 3 halves, which is 2 halves, which is 1. So x equals negative fourth. So don't be distracted by the fraction or the negative. You really have to plug it in and check your answers. Go ahead and solve again with one radical. So we're going to square both sides. I put this one in here because remember, this is a binomial. So we have to square it, not just the pieces. So I get x plus 18 equals x squared minus 4x plus 4. Set it to 0. It is a quadratic. Then I can factor it to x and 7, x and 2. This one has to be minus. This one has to be plus. So x is 7. x is negative 2. When you plug it back in, 7 and 18 is the square root of 25 equals 7 minus 2. 5 does equal 5. When I plug in negative 2, I get square root of 16 equals the negative 2 minus 2 for 4 equals negative 4, which is not a true statement. 4 does not equal negative 4, so I have to reject negative 2, and the only answer here is 7. Pause and try this one. I'm going to square both sides. 2x plus 14 equals x squared plus 6x plus 9. Put it into standard form. Minus 5, factor it. Now plus minus. So x equals negative 5 and x equals 1. When I take the time to check this, the negative 5 does not work. It's extraneous. The only answer is 1. Switching over to rational expression. So this is a group to the 1 fifth. If I want to undo a 1 fifth, that means I'm going to raise the whole side to a 5 because a power to a power says multiplying, and 1 fifth times 5 is 1. If I do it to that side, I have to do it to the right side as well. So I end up with 3x minus 1 equals 32. Add the 1 over, and we get x to be 11. Go ahead and try this one. This is raised to the 1 half, which is, is a square root. So I'm going to square both sides. I get x squared equals x plus 12. Set it into standard form because it's a quadratic. Factor it. I get x to be 4 and x to be negative 3. I need to check my answers. I'm going to plug 4 in. So I get 4 equals 4 plus 12 times taking the square root, which is 4 equals 4. So that works. Negative 3 equals negative 3 plus 12. Take the square root. Negative 3 equals the square root of 9, which is 3, which is not true. So I reject negative 3. My answer is 4. In our last problem, we have this, frac this group raised to the 2 thirds. I want to undo that, so I'm going to raise that to the 3 halves. Power, power, product, power of a power is 2 thirds times 3 halves equals 1. That's what we're trying to do. So when you undo a fraction, you are multiplying it, sorry, not multiplying it, raising it to its reciprocal. Raise to the reciprocal. And yeah, we have to do it to both sides, so we have to think about what that piece means. 9 to the 2 thirds, 3 halves, sorry, pull the denominator in. So 9 to the 1 half cubed is the square root of 9, which is 3 cubed, which is 27. But this is very important. Right here, I end up taking the square root. So the square root of 9 could also be a negative 3. Cube. So this thing could equal negative 27. So we have to solve two equations. x plus 5 equals 27, and x plus 5 equals negative 27. So we get x to be 22, and we get x to be negative 32. And they both work. So don't lose an answer. If you find yourself taking a square root, you have to remember that plus or minus. To recap, if you have one radical, isolate it and undo the root. If you have two radicals, it's easier if they're on opposite sides. Square or cube sides, not the parts. Plug your answers back in to check your work. Nice job.